Hello, dear friends. How's it going? I'm burning the morning oil. It's past the midnight oil now. <laughs> Thanks for joining me again. Uh, all are welcome on this channel. Wrote another poem about. Oh, I don't know. Five minutes ago. A little, uh, little calmer poem this time. A little easier to stomach, maybe, for some of you. <laughs> and what can I say, man? It had to be done. And now it is. There it is, as the saying goes. <clears throat> this is a transcendental poem, once again. You're like, poet, do you have any other kind? Yeah, I have lots of other kinds. This is what's pertinent right now, so. This is what, uh, churning out of the old noggin. So, anyway, before I drift off into some other form of meditation in the middle of a video, let's get started on the poem. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta figure out a name, I forgot, I always forget the name, because it doesn't matter what the name is. The Mirror of Self. The shattering of the mirror of self. The singularity of God's consciousness. The saying goes... <laughs> uh, I can't read my own writing. The story. I'm not saying. Get your head out of patterns of logic and read the paper. The story goes... Uh, God... Was but a singularity. Om. Perfect, still, and at peace. It was everything. He was everything. It, he, she, it was everything. Uh, had one totality, one essence, one soul. And absolutely no problems. Yeah, I didn't find that funny when I wrote it, but I read it back to myself now, and it's really funny to me, and I'm not sure why. But that's cool. It's part of the process. And absolutely no problems. Such a thing as problems was not even a concept or a possibility within existence at that point. It was just still, calm, peace, infinite. Is God, after all this time and speculation and mystery, just a yogi off in some parallel dimension who lost his still point, its, his, she, its still point in meditation? Just lost the still point in meditation and is experiencing the chaos of thought and its infinite patterns. Is God just now finishing up the equation and only now coming back to the rippleless plane of existence? You know, like a ripple, like a pebble in a pond, like they say, you throw it and the ripple spreads, but at least the concept, the theory is, not my theory, either, I'm just expounding upon other people's theories. The theory is, God consciousness is rippleless. It's just a still pool, right? So every thought is a rock you drop in the pool, and then the ripples spread throughout consciousness. But in God consciousness, it was stillness until somebody dropped a rock, <laughs> or the mirror shattered, and it split into, uh, you know, like. All the little pieces of the mirror. Or shards even. You know. And like we're all a little piece. We're all a shard. A little piece of God consciousness. That broke apart somehow. No one knows for sure. Right. This is this is just a concept. 
It's just a concept. It's a hypothesis that others have had that I'm, you know, speculating on now. So, yeah, that's the kind of concept. It all broke apart. And then now we have all this. <laughs> good or bad, good and bad. It's all working itself out. Trying to get back to the still point. Maybe, who knows. Trying to get back to the state of stillness, the peace. Anyway, let's finish the poem. I'm rambling. But that's part of it too. That's part of my process. Coming back to that rippleless plane of existence. That has pure peace. That rippleless plane of existence. That has pure peace. Uh, could be. Who knows? <laughs> I refuse to believe God just got bored one day and wanted to see the drama of a reality show. That's human thinking. God has no thought. It's not needed. It's only a distraction from peace. <laughs> and then I was going to... This line came into my head. Can't you see it's right in front of you? That's a line from Nine Inch Nail Song. Which, hold on, i got to get some water. My voice is not going to be real good. <clears throat> so I'm not really going to try and belt it out like Trent. I'll just sing along casually. Hopefully it won't suck. <coughs> sorry. And if, I'm sorry, I forgot to take off my mala beads. I'm sorry if it's been banging against my necklace, my mala beads, the mic. I do one take. I messed up. I forgot to take my necklaces off. I usually just leave them on. Anyway, I'm rambling again. I was going to read, sing this little song. Little song. Little, big, first, last, alpha, omega. The name of the song. Ugh. Oh, this is hard to focus. Come on, focus. Yeah, they, he wrote it. They did it like this on purpose, too. It would be hard to see. <laughs> you got to think about that one. Okay. Can I even see it? Tell you what, I can see it from this vantage point, not over the camera. Should have turned on an extra lamp. Anyway, I'm rambling again. This is the song God Given by Nine Inch Nails off of, which I, my favorite Nine Inch Nails album, and I never thought I'd say this. You know, slowly this became my favorite album. It just, I mean, obviously, look what we're going through. This is this album is way ahead of its time. This is a concept album. So the critics say. It's way more than that. Boom. Year zero. Year zero. By nine inch nails. Halo twenty four. Yeah, that's another thing uh Trent does. He makes all of his Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails. All of his CDs, all of his albums or EPs or singles, whatever, they all he calls them halos, which is pretty groovy. Halo 1, Halo, he's on Halo whatever, 40-something, I don't know, 30, I can't remember. But anyway, I'll read that song, but I just want to show you the cover art, which is pretty groovy. Look, the Zeta Reticulan hand, or maybe the Arturian hand, one of those grays. There's like several sects, so the legends say. Or sex isn't the right... Uh, I'm thinking of different groups. <laughs> there's uh, there's several subspecies and species and under different dominions. So that's what the mythologies, the alien mythologies say on the internet. The internet. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? What? A lot of speculation. But anyway, that, uh, that's what that is. That's supposed to be like the Zeta Reticulin or Archerian Hand. The gray. One of the grays. With tall, big, blue, purple, gray. You know, the little... The little dudes, the most famous versions of the aliens. It's supposed to be like a hand on a windshield, like a car windshield, like you're driving, like somebody's dude's driving, right? And then boom, just like a fucking gray hand just falls, just flies down, right? in your windshield. Boy, that would scare the shit out of somebody. And then you got this. This shit's super deep. The Bible. The dude with the watch, the watch, the Bible. I'm going to take a deep delve into this and just, just buckle up. 
there's a there's the Bible, there's the watch, the time running out, time running out, the Bible, Revelations, the Bible. Ah, it's not gonna happen like Revelations. Don't worry. It's just gonna it's just gonna pass. It's gonna pass like a like a fart, momentary, and stinky, and then it will dissipate into the wind. <laughs> And this dude has some sort of fucking diamond symbol on his on his hand. Of course, that's significant. Of course, everything is per on purpose. Then over here, you got the classic. Looks like fucking Pennsylvania to me. Kind of scene. All the houses built up on the hills. And there's the CD, which is in my car disc changer, of course, where it usually stays. Then you got the MP5 over here, the submachine gun. The most highly used submachine gun for urban pacification. Urban pacification. Of course, now most of the little whiz-bang, uh, high-speed, low-drag, mall ninja badge wearers have, uh, you know, upgraded to the MP7 or... The FMP90, like the Secret Service uses, but yeah, so the, that's the most classic SMG, submachine gun, urban pacification, firearm, tool, primary tool. MP5. Dropped a lot of motherfucking people with that. That thing has dropped a lot of bodies. A lot of bodies have been dropped with the MP5s. M4s have got them beat. The Kalashnikovs. And they're the king. They have slain the most human souls. The Kalashnikov. But this is the MP5. Damn good submachine gun. The best they ever made. With a little, you know, here I'm gun geeking out here. I'm not going to explain the whole goddamn apparatus loadout setup. But, yeah. You got a choice, America. You got the gun. You got the Bible. You got the gun. You got the Bible. The Bible. You got the watch. You got the suit. The gun is just the bare arm. Bare arm. Bare arm. <laughs> See? The arm's bare. Bare arms. Ah, it's starting to make sense. Zeta Reticulum is like, no, nope, fuck that shit. Your duality is over, bitch. Put it to bed. The Arturian Council. That's what the alien mythology... That's what that's suggesting. The Arturian Council's like, No, bitch. Stop now. This is where it stops. Enough is enough. Then on the back, look at this shit. This is supposed to be the contrast, right? There was the Pennsylvania landscape on that picture before. Well, this is the other. This is the uh, diametric op opposite of that. This is the... You can have the yin, you can have the yang. How you want it, motherfuckers. We're going with the light, alright? Just suck it up and move on. Let go of your goddamn hate. It's over. It is over. The fat lady is sung. You just don't know it yet. You haven't heard it yet, but it's carrying on the winds, my friends. Carrying on the winds, and that uh, vocal resonance will ring in your ears soon enough. Yeah, so you got nice, dainty, peaceful Pennsylvania looking town. Then you got a fucking wasteland with nothing but fucking smokestacks in the background. What good is this? It's not. That's why it's not going to happen. That's not in anyone's best interest. Why the fuck would that happen? No, that's not going to fucking happen. We're coming back to this. We're coming back to what we aspired to originally. That ne we never even fucking attained. We just lied to ourselves and said we did. It was all bullshit. But now we really will. Now we really will live up to our fucking cultural shit that they actually said was real that they believed made us believe a bunch of lies 
weren't real. Now we're starting to wake up to the fact that, hey, wait a minute. We're going to make the shit they said was going to be real actually real, and it's going to be beautiful. So. In come the progressives. Got new blood in the game now, and the game's going to change. Going to change. Anyway, am I ever going to sing this silly song? Yes, I am. Here we go. I can read this sucker. <clears throat> God Given by Nine Inch Nails off Year Zero. Okay, let me give you something else to look at. Look at St. Michael. How about that? It always works for me. Jesus, St. Michael, Buddha, St. Gabriel. They're all pretty groovy. Anyway. God-given by Nine Inch Nails. Hey, man, please don't make a sound. Take a look around. Can't you see what's right in front of you? Ah, have a little taste. No more time to waste. You don't want to get left behind because it's all coming down right now. How hard is it to see? You put your faith in me. Sure wouldn't want to be praying to the wrong piece of wood. You should get where you belong. Everything you know is wrong. Come on, sing along. Everybody now, God given. And he gives us sight and we see the light. And it burns so bright. Now we know we're right. When his kingdom come. And the will be done. We have just begun. We're the chosen ones. I would never tell you anything that wasn't absolutely true that hadn't come right from his mouth. And he wants me to tell you. And he wants me to tell you. Trent said it. Not me. Pretty sweet though, man. Whenever I'm having a bad day, whenever I'm feeling frustrated and like, man, hope is, hope is, I'm just being tested right now. I put on that song. Put on that song. And I take a deep breath. And I let it go. And I say, Lord, take from me this burden that I cannot bear and uh, until I can understand it better and then maybe uh, we'll take another crack at it. Yeah. Some food for thought. I hope you can dig it. I know that you can. <laughs> Catch you next time.